Angle bisectors, what are they and how do they help us in a geometry class? Thank you for stopping by. Let's take a peek. All right, so we've got angle A, B, C, which is broken up with ray B, D. So if ray B, D is a bisector, the second that someone tells you, oh, that's a bisector, or if you're informed of that, it's just a fancy way of saying it cut the overall angle, the large angle, A, B, C, in half. Okay, so what do we know? We now know if this big angle was cut in half by ray B, D because it's a bisector, we know that A, B, D, angle A, B, D, would have to be the same or congruent to D, B, C, angle D, B, C. All right, so all it's doing is it's creating two angles that are the exact same measure. For example, let's use numbers now to explain this. If we had this large angle, A, B, C, and we were told that it is a 40 degree angle, but then we're also told that B, D, ray B, D is a bisector, well, this 40 degree angle would break this into a 20 degree and this into a 20 degree. They're gonna be equal, they're going to be the same. All right, so. All it's doing is taking the large angle, cutting it into two equal angles, cutting them in half. All right, so how are we gonna see problems in a geometry course? What are those gonna look like? Let's say we are told for this problem exactly, or for this picture diagram exactly, that angle A, B, D, and I always, one thing I always like to do a little tip is I'll read it and then I'll kind of do a quick scan with my finger over the top. So I'm talking about this angle. And if I'm told that that is 5x, so if I'm told angle ABD is equal to 5x, and then I'm also told that DBC, angle DBC is equal to 3x plus 10. Let's say I'm given that information, and I'm also told BD, ray BD, is a bisector. Well, I can figure out exactly how large these angles are by using algebra. All right, I'm going to take this expression and this expression, and I have to ask myself, what do I know about those two given angles? I know they're the same. I know that this angle is the exact same as this angle. How do I say that in algebra? That equal sign says that 5x is the same as 3x plus 10. It's equal to 3x plus 10. Now we go back one year from geometry back to uh, algebra. We do our algebra. We figure out what x is. Once we know what x is, we can plug it in, and it will tell us exactly how big each angle is. So. How do I do variables on both sides? I'm going to have to subtract 3x from this side, subtract 3x from this side, like terms. Now I have 2x, and it's equal to the only thing that's left on the right side of 10. Divide by 2 to cancel out the 2. Divide by 2, x equals 5. Okay, I know what x is. Do not jump up here and say, oh, the angle is 5 degrees. It's not 5 degrees. X is 5. X is 5. The angle, remember, is 5X. So you want to say 5 times 5. And what you would get is an angle that is 25 degrees. Now you can put that 5 right here as well. Okay. And see what you get given there. 3X or 3 times 5, you're going to get 15 plus 10 more, and that would give you 3 times 5 plus 10. And we, were, we would hope that we get the same exact result because if it's a bisector, this angle has to be the same as this angle. So 3 times 5 is now 15 plus 10 equals, what do you know? So both of the angles in this case would be 25 degrees. Thank you for sticking around. Study it. Practice it. 
It's just cutting the angle in half. An angle bisector, fancy way of saying cut a large angle in half. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, study hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.